All right, guys, so today is gonna be a thrifting day. Um, already finished at my first stop. I didn't know if I was gonna film today, but I decided, you know what? Um, I gotta show you guys what I find because this is insane. So let's go through this. I didn't film in the store because they were just blaring music, but um, I got everything right here. So let's go over some numbers. I spent a total of $95. Hopefully this is a good angle, but I spent a total of $95 and uh, I got a lot of pieces. So got two books for Amazon FBA, paid $3, it's about $12 in profit. Nothing crazy. Um, some Burberry eyeglasses. These were, I think, $3. I'll probably get about 30 bucks for them. Nothing crazy there. Um, I picked this up for my brother-in-law. It's a Real Salt Lake uh, soccer jacket because he loves Real. Put that there. Um, I picked up this Ugg robe. I paid up for it, I paid $8, I mean, nothing crazy, but um, I think I can get around 60 bucks just because of the, the print on it. So that's a pretty cool find. Okay, these two jackets I paid up for 20 bucks a piece, but I did have a 20% off coupon. But they're just too cool, look at that. 20 bucks, so I got two of them. I think I can get around probably $80 for them. Whoo, boy. If I was a Lakers fan, I'd probably keep them, but I'm not. Um, oh, this is cool. I paid five bucks for this Carhartt uh, vest. I don't know if it's men's or women's. It was in the women's section, but it is a small and uh, super good shape. For five bucks, I'll pick that up any day. Uh, I got, this is for a DVD VHS combo unit. The only way to tell if it is, is because it has the, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it has a DVD VCR button on it. And I always buy these when I see them because I'll use them eventually. And then I picked up this um, Thigh Master, paid five bucks. It goes for like $35, $40. Um, and it was starting to poly bag because it's pretty much metal and rubber. Um, I picked up three Ralph Lauren V-necks, or not V-necks, <laughs> uh, turtlenecks. I paid five bucks a piece for them. This one's an XL, the other two are larges, but they're in really good shape. And I don't know if, how old they are, if they're vintage or not, but for five bucks, five bucks a piece on a light blue a dark blue and a black uh v turtleneck ralph lauren that's a hell of a deal and then got these doc martens i paid eight dollars for them and i didn't even look them up because they're in really good shape i think i can get around 60 probably maybe 80 bucks and then last piece a lulu jacket i paid 12 dollars for it um but Lulu always sells. Lulu is just fire. I spent a total of $95 and I had the 20% off, so it probably was like 118 bucks roughly. Uh, but this is just stop number one. So we got so much more to do. So let's hit the road and see what else we can find. I'll see you guys in a minute. What up guys? Okay, I'm gonna make this super quick. They got music playing. I'm trying not to get copyrighted it's on YouTube. So let's jump into it. Um, I got two pairs of shoes. These are Tevas. I only paid six bucks for these and these will get me around $40 and they're in great shape. A pair of Nikes that are missing the insoles, but they're only $4. So that's a hell of a deal. I should get around 40 bucks. Um, this is why I love Amazon FBA. I picked up about 15, 16 books roughly. And there's $185 in profit in just these books. So like if I was coming here just to source books, like that's that would make my day right there, finding $185 in profit. And then I picked up these two label printers. I don't know much about this model, but they were similar uh, sold comps, no cords, nothing sold as is for around $50 plus shipping. So for two bucks a piece, that's a hell of a deal. And then I'm gonna pick this up for myself, just to have in the office, help me organize a little bit better. It is $8, so hell of a deal. And uh, I'm gonna head out and head to the next spot. All right guys. So I just loaded everything up into my car and I'm walking over to this thrift store. This thrift store is like, this is the DI I just left. I don't know if you can see it over there. This thrift store is like walking distance. It is a, another Ma and Pa one. Um, let's go in there and find out. I've only found one thing ever in here, which is this HP calculator that I made like 120 bucks. So, I mean, there's possibilities. So let's get in there and see what we can find. Ooh, am I glad I stopped at that thrift store. So check this, I picked up two things. I got this, uh, oh, hold on, pause. Oh geez, that was a close one. Okay. <laughs> I picked up this uh, 30 minute Tycoon RC flash charger. It takes like 30 minutes to charge your batteries. The battery's inside it. Uh, with the battery, I can get around 30, 35 bucks. If it didn't have the battery, it's only worth like 15 or 20. Paid $3 for that. And then I got 
this Lego set, guys. It is opened. Um, the lady said that who donated it said it was 100% complete, so who knows? She was asking 35 bucks, and I paid $20 for it. But look out for this Lego stuff. Even though it's older, um, it gets valuable, that more valuable the older it is. So always look this stuff up. This is the Sorcerer's Stone Lego set. And if it's complete, I can get around 150. If it isn't complete, I can get around $100. So hell of a find. Let's head it over to the next thrift store. All right, guys, so I just finished up at Goodwill. Found some decent stuff. So I found two Athleta. You guys needed a look. This is just bread and butter stuff. This is Athleta. Um, you can tell that's the logo they have on their clothing. These jackets, I find them for like five bucks a piece. I got two of them. Here's another one that's dark gray. Um, paid, I think I paid five bucks each. So 10 bucks and they go for like 30, $40, like all day, like easy money. And then you guys know I'm always finding sunglasses. I honestly didn't even look these up, but I know they're good. So I've sold these sun clouds before. Uh, they're SCR lenses. And I think these are $100 pair of glasses. I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'll pop up the, the comps on the side of the screen. And then I found a pair of Maui Gym. This is another brand you guys have to look out for. Um, this says Maui Gym on the side. You can see that. Great brand to look out for. That was probably at least a $50 pair. And then some Oakley eyeglasses. You know, the O is just, it stands out. It's easy to find. You just look it up by the model number. I haven't looked these up. These are Boom Stand. I'll pop it up on the side, but Boom Stand eyeglasses probably 40 bucks easy um and then i picked up these women's nikes these were seven dollars and uh i think there was no pre-owned listed so all the all the new ones were listed for like 100 plus and so um i'll probably get like 50 bucks for these paid, paid eight and then grabbed this dvd vhs combo unit you know i'm always looking for these if it works which you know probably 75 percent of the time they do work um, and if they don't, I can usually clean them up and fix them and, re you know, sell them or just sell them as parts to get my money back. But I should get around $80 for this guy and it only cost me six. So we're going to head out uh, the savers. I've got a trunk full of books I have to donate so I can get some coupons. So let's head over there and see what we can find. Just finished up at this savers out in uh, West Valley. No, t -Vale, that's what it is, what So I picked up this uh, this cookbook. It's like $5 profit on Amazon. I picked up two more Athleta jackets. This one was 10 bucks. Um, should be around 30 or $40 for that guy. Here's another one. This is kind of like a sweater, or I mean a hoodie. Uh, this one was $8, and this should get around 30 or 40 for that one as well. Picked up these um, Nikes. They do have a little bit of wear on there, um, but there was no, there was like probably eight listings and all of them were new no pre-owned i'm just looking to get like 50 bucks for them these were only eight six dollars so hell of a deal um and then i picked up these two cameras this was t this bag was 10 bucks this top one goes for like 40 dollars and this bottom one goes for like 20. it's like 60 dollars right there and then this wolfgang puck i don't know i still i'm still on the edge if i should have picked it up um but it's just usually the, like the name brand like wolfgang pup puck is good to grab but it was 20 bucks and so i think i can get around 80 dollars for it but it's so heavy that it's probably gonna cost me 25 bucks to ship um but it's a gorgeous piece so, so i'm gonna make like maybe 25 bucks after everything and then let me hold on let me grab this dvd just combo and then lastly i got the sony uh dvd just combo i'm always grabbing these guys this was seven dollars uh if it works it's an easy hundred bucks so let's head over to um a di See you guys in a minute. All right, so just finished up at the DI on 45th and State, and uh, not every spot is a win uh, here in Utah. Tim Osborne of Thrift may make you guys feel that way, and sometimes my, my posts make you feel that way, but all I found was this Maui Gym case, which will go great for those Maui Gyms I found at that Goodwill uh, up the road. So we're gonna head over to another Goodwill and see what else we can find. All right, guys, so just finished up this Goodwill. Didn't find much, I found one book. Uh, for Amazon FBA, I think it was like $9 in profit. Kind of a high rank, but I just grabbed it. And I picked up these uh, Kuru. These are in pretty decent shape, and they were only, I think, 7 bucks. Um, so I had to pick them up. Kuru is a good brand to look out for. I usually don't find them too often, but when I do, I usually pick them up. And then I found this, because I need it in my life right now. So we're probably, I only have two hours left, so we're going to hit up as many stores as we can probably three more stores we'll see so let's get going all right guys so I just finished up the sandy di um i have to give a shout out to jamie for introducing um yourself to me at um super cool dude if you guys i'll have to 
to share his Instagram on the page. Go give him a follow. Show him some, some love. Um, I picked up some ping golf clubs. And uh, I paid 15 bucks for all of them. There's four, no, yeah, four ping uh, green dots and one ping zing black dot. The, one, the ping zing black dot I can get around like 30 bucks. And then um, the other set I get around 80. So it'd be pretty cool. And then I picked up this old school board game. So check this out. It's called uh, Robots VCR Mystery Game. It was two bucks and uh, it sells for like, like 25 bucks, something crazy, but I'm sure it'll be a quick seller since it's sealed. But yeah, golf clubs are awesome. I hardly ever find ping golf clubs. So always look out for ping. Um, and those are the green dot. There's that black dot I was talking about. But I'm gonna head over to Draper Savers and see what else we can find. Ooh, well, all I found at this Savers were these views of these mountains. I didn't find a single thing. When it gets later in the day, it's extremely hard to find stuff because everybody gets off work and goes to thrift stores and stuff like that. So it's hard to find good stuff. And it's 4.15. We're gonna try to hit up two more spots, but look at these freaking mountains. Yeah, that's all I got, was these, <laughs> these views. But let's head to the next door. Okay, so I had hopes. This is a Plato's Closet. I don't know if you guys have those in your area. They're, they're pretty much across the country, but um, Drew, Profit Monsters, got me hooked on them. So I came here about a week ago. I picked up some Danner boots. I paid, I think I paid 50 bucks for them or 40 bucks. And I ended up selling them for $250 in like one day. So now every time I drive by Plato's, I always stop just to check out the shoes because you never know. Uh, didn't find anything today, so I'll, I'll probably try another one tomorrow. But uh, I think there's only two out here in Utah. But if you have a Plato's near you, definitely try it out, guys. I'm telling you. Easy money in there sometimes. One more stop. Ooh, all right, guys, it's getting dark out. So it's 5.30. I picked up four things at this last spot. And I thought I wasn't going to find anything because I usually don't find anything like past 3 o'clock. But I found some killer stuff, so check this out. Um, first couple small things were this camera. I paid three bucks, it sells for like 35 bucks, nothing crazy. Um, but it all adds up, guys, I'm telling you. Uh, this one was a Sony Walkman, paid five, and this one was go right around 30 to 35 as well. And then I picked up this Minolta CD player, and I paid only five dollars for it. And there was, I think, there was one or two sold comps that were right around 100 bucks, 100 bucks so i'll get 100 for this and this was the big find of the day i paid 15 dollars for it it's sealed black and decker toast r oven tr 200 the comps were kind of all over the place but they were going from like 150 to like almost 400 dollars. so i think i'm gonna list it pretty high and just let it sit and see what happens um because it is sealed look at that they got a 45 dollar price tag on it um but yeah i'm gonna head out and uh what i'm gonna do is take all this stuff home unpack it again like i did the previous video and just go over the numbers just to show you guys what the gross is as well as the profit so um killer day today and i appreciate you guys following along so i'll see you guys soon all right guys so i got everything in my basement unpacked i ran through all the numbers to make sure it was 100 percent accurate got it all on my cheat sheet so what i'm gonna do is flip you around so you can see all the items as i go over these numbers so here we go. Okay, so I went to 11 thrift stores. I spent $308.32. I picked up 61 items in all these stores and I got about $5.05 invested in each item. My gross total is $2,410. And I usually take home right around 60 to 65 percent, but what we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna times it by 60, just go on the lower end, and that would bring the profit to 1,446 dollars. Now keep in mind this is after taxes, after cost of goods, after eBay fees, and after shipping, just to give you guys a calculation. So that's 1,446, and then. We also have to include all the books I picked up for Amazon FBA. And I've got, I think there was 21 here. And I got a total profit of $237.93 in Amazon FBA profit. So if we add those two numbers together, our profit for this entire thrift haul is $1,686.93. Like killer day. And it was a blast. I love that I was able to film it. Uh, I made a few TikToks and I posted a bunch on my story on IG. If you, haven't, if you don't follow me over there, go check me out on IG. I post a lot of cool stuff on there. 
Um, but you guys, that's it. Like that's as easy as it is. Just go thrifting, look stuff up, find out what's profitable, bring it home and list it. So I appreciate you guys watching sincerely. Leave a comment below. Tell me something that you learned you didn't know that you know had profit in one of these items. Um, that way you guys can use that down the road. So one of my goals this year is to get my watch time up. So I'm making as many videos as I can, hoping it helps you guys just a little bit. Um, if you've made it this far, please consider subscribing. And uh, I'll probably be filming another video tomorrow. I'm gonna be hitting up the Goodwill bin, so you'll see that here in a few days. I appreciate you guys. Have an amazing day. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.